hello, my name is Josh Walker, and I'm going to be presenting on legal and ethical issues for education. This could be something you could use for a, a new teacher orientation or uh, any, any kind you brought in, new employees in, just kind of help them be aware of some issues that, that might affect them. Um, why is this important? The difference between ethics and law, these are some of the key points we'll go over. Uh, three ways teachers in, influence students ethically, teachers' liabilities and precautions, and also consequences for their actions. Um, why is this important? We need to act and respond as a professional teacher. Uh, parents want their children to be taught ethically, uh, or to be taught by ethical people. We as teachers need to be aware of what, uh, what we are liable for and the potential consequences for our actions. So, so what could happen if you don't, if you don't follow some of these guidelines? Um, ethical and law. When you think of ethical and law, a basketball coach wants you to change some grades um, in student grades so they don't be put on the basketball team would be an ethical issue. And then you see a teacher um, threatening or har harassing another student, um, and, and, and that that is that is uh, covered in the law part of it. Uh, ethical versus law refers to a system of code morally embraced by a particular uh, group may be invisible uh, obligations that we perceive and ideals that are less tangible and observable. Um, when you go to law, these are these are actually written down. They're uh, created by a legitimate authority that, that oversees the group, which would in this case would be the um, the state law and, and national law that, that governs the school. Written rules that a member of the a given community must follow, and they can be judged and penalized for the actual behavior. So that's kind of the difference between ethics and law. Uh, three ways teachers um, influence students ethically would be, first of example, classroom climate and um, ethical dialogue. Um, the way you treat students and the work you do demonstrates your value or your ethical values. Um, the climate of your, of your classroom, whether it's a friendly, invite, inviting climate, uh, or it's a uh, one ruled by a dictatorship, and um, a fear could be another school climate. And, and that kind of, that, that relates to how, how your classroom will run. Um, being well, well informed about subject matter, planning and conducting your classes with care. This is kind of do with preparation. If you're better prepared for your, for your day of school, especially your first day of school, then everything else is gonna run better. And if you know your subject matter also. Uh, ethical dialogue is how you speak with the kids. Um, you don't need to say anything that, that's uh, of off color or any kind of uh, crude comment, even if you may think it's funny because they may be viewed differently. Um, speaks and acts towards all students with respect and dig dignity. This kind of goes back to the golden rule, treat them the way you want to be treated. And if you, um, if you give respect, a lot of times you will receive respect. Um, six, characteristics, six characteristics of ethical teaching. Um, appreciation for moral uh, liberation, your knowledge, uh, reasoning, empathy, courage, and interpersonal skills. Uh, what does liability mean to teachers? Well, li liability means blame. Who's at blame if something goes on? Uh, it implies that a teacher behaved intentionally in a way in which injuries occurred because of their actions. Teachers are responsible for the safety and well-being of students in their classroom, workspace, and any other areas in the school and the activities they oversee. Um, an example of this would be a teacher who um, was out of their classroom a lot and left, left students unsupervised. And you know, if you had a kid get up on the desk and fall off a desk, uh, then you, you could be liable for that because you're not supervising. Or if the same incident happened and you were in the room and you were, had went over the rules and, and the same incident happened, then, then you would not be found liable. And these are some court cases and stuff. And it's, uh, teachers uh, were not found liable for student injuries when they demonstrated that they take a responsible precaution. Precautions would be they made reasonable attempts to, um, <clears throat> to an, an, uh, um, anticipate um, dangerous situations would be set up procedures and stuff in their rooms that would um, try
try to move the students away from that. They provided proper supervision, which is like the story I went over. They took precautions, they established rules, and they gave a warning to minimize the chances of students getting hurt. And, and with this, in the court case, you can see if the teacher took all the precautions, things, things may go on, but the, the, the teacher will not be liable, and the courts have proven that. Uh, on the other side, if teachers do not um, have um, supervision, and they, they leave the students unsupervised, and they could be held liable. Due process, um, substantive and uh, procedural due process and substantive basically ensures you have rights and ensures that anybody has rights and that they will not be infringed on. Procedural due process has to do with the procedures and the methods that will be used to, um, to, to serve in, in the due process. Um, and the code of ethics, this is education professional by the NEA, is the educator believing in the worth and dignity of each human being recognizes the supreme importance of the purpose of truth, devotion to excellence, and the nurture of the demographic principles. Essential to these goals is the protection of freedom to learn and to teach and to guarantee of equal educational opportunities for all. The educator accepts the responsibility to adhere to the highest ethical standard. And this is um, the Code of Ethics by the uh, NEA. And I hope I hope this PowerPoint may help to um, give you some ideas and things that, that you could do with new teachers. Thank you.